Günaydın. <laughs> and that means hello in Turkish, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Assalamu alaikum. That means hello in Tajik. Yeah. All right. Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Thursday. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. What a fun day. Woo! 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 Somebody asked me the other day, do I like to dance? The answer is yes. I dance on my way to school and I dance on my way home. I try and even get some dance moves in during the day. You should too. It's lots of fun. Welcome to Hawk TV. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my goodness. We have so many exciting things to talk about. Today is Thursday. It's November 17th. We're back to day one. Day one. All right. And from the opening clips there, first of all, thank you to uh, my third grade young ladies who are helping me learn some new languages. I really appreciate that. Trying to learn some Turkish, trying to learn some Tajik. And, uh, you know, the, the more languages you know, I think the more opportunities you're going to have in this world. Wouldn't it be great if you could do business with somebody in another, in another language, in another country? That would be pretty cool. Also, what an amazing day yesterday was. I mean, I can't even begin to list all the amazing things we did. First, I think at some point I went into um, Miss Dashie's class and they taught me this really fun game called word head and i think they were studying their high frequency words with like word head so like a kid would have a card on their head and then people would have to give that person clues so like you might give me a clue and say hey dr g um the word on your head it starts with the letter e hmm hmm eagles e-a-g-l-e-s eagles so that was fun and I spent some time in um, Miss uh, Ritter's class. It was a Read 180 class. And you know what? I honestly didn't know what Read 180 meant. And uh, I learned at her class that there was this guy. Get this. He spoke a language other than English. He comes to America and he realizes he's got to learn English. So he develops this whole program to help everybody learn to read a little bit better. And if you know anything about math, if you do a 180, you're like shh, turning it around. So like he wasn't able to do a lot of reading, but then he did read 180. Whoosh, he turned it around and he was able to read. And that reminded me that we have so many boys and girls who maybe sometimes in the beginning of the day, maybe they make a bad choice. It happens. I make bad choices. Everybody makes bad choices. But if you just focus on it and you're like, oh boy, I made a bad choice all day, you're not going to have a lot of fun. But if you do what that other guy did and you turn it around, you can go from having a bad day to having a great day. And then you might be dancing, dancing, woo. I also had a lot of fun. I went to Miss Salt's class. They're studying all kinds of amazing things in science. And they taught me a song. And I just thought, you know, it's such an amazing song. I need to share it with you. Maybe you've heard it before. I don't know. All right. One, two, oh, one, two, three. And the brain helps us think. The brain helps us think. Our body does amazing things. The brain helps us think. The heart moves the blood. The heart moves the blood. Our body does amazing things. The heart moves the blood. The lungs help us breathe. The lungs help us breathe. Our body does amazing things. The lungs help us breathe. It goes on and on. There's like many more verses, but it was just an incredible experience. Thank you so much to my friends in Miss Salt's class for teaching me that song. And thank you to everybody who's working really hard every day on their high frequency words. Everybody who's working really hard and I ready and everybody who's just working hard every day. 
so what else is going on? You know, Hoover, we like never just slow down. So there's all kinds of things. So let's think. So tomorrow, oh no, let, let's start with today. Uh, I forgot. Over the summer, Miss Randall came to me and Miss Randall said, Dr. G, is it at all possible? Could we do some sort of really cool third grade science experiment that we might call something like balloons over Broadway? Some sort of really cool thing, something like the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And I said, Miss Randall, you've got a vision and I don't want to get in your way, so make it happen. Well, apparently third grade's been working on this for a while. And I think they might even actually be almost ready for a parade. I, we should probably confirm it, but I think there might even be a parade like today around 150. So if for some reason you're trying to do work, trying to focus on your high frequency words, trying to do word head or something and a parade walks by it's okay you can you can take a look at it um it should be pretty cool when it comes all right and so that's just today then tomorrow is friday already tomorrow's day two tomorrow's where pj's day now uh ratings have been down and poor miss dashy says she never sees any of my emails she never sees any of my shows so she doesn't even know that tomorrow's pj day so if you're Somebody who ever encounters Miss Dashy and you see her, say, Dr. G said Friday is PJ Day, okay? Because she doesn't watch my show anymore. I don't know why. Ratings are down. And then, oh, yeah, we also have um, the Run Club. The Run Club, do, 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 do. that's going to be uh, tomorrow, same time, 8 o'clock. It's the last time we're doing it in the fall. We'll do it again in the spring, but it's the last time for the fall. It's going to get a little colder, maybe some snow, maybe some ice. So we'll take a little break for a little while. And then, dun, 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 next week, a bunch of kids keep telling me, oh, Dr. G, I'm so sad. Like, there's only two days of school next week. I said, I know, I know, but we got to get in some family time. And of the two days, one of them is Tuesday, the 22nd. And on that day, um, we're going to do like an all sports day. So maybe you love the Phillies and you want to wear red, fine. Maybe you love the Eagles, you want to wear green, fine. Miss Minerva, maybe you want to wear a Dallas jersey, that's fine, okay? I'm appreciating everyone's differences. And maybe you have a favorite college team. Maybe you, you went to Temple University or you have a friend who went to Temple University and you want to wear their colors. Or maybe you're really into the Philadelphia Union or maybe you're really into your soccer team. That, that you play on. So whatever your favorite sport is, that's what we're doing on the 22nd. That's the day um, before the big break. All right. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye. Go shooters. You good night. That means goodbye. Have a good day. Paka. Paka. Does that mean goodbye in Tajik? Paka. All right. Paka, everyone.